What? Is uh, Betsy here? Yeah, she's over there. I'm right here. Can I uh, bet to see you at homecoming? I, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I really loved the um, opening of how we see the signs and then the sign making becomes the significant um, signal of um, moving a relationship forward. Um, it's sort of the sign of, do you accept me or not? And I, I really thought that it was a nice way to sort of frame it up to start it off. I think that obviously the inversion of the um, typical conceit of a boy asking a girl out for a dance uh, has been turned on his head here um, with a separate uh, gender, um, with the female-led cast. I thought it was interesting both in terms of the lead character and in uh, the football character's um, archetype as well. And I thought there was an interesting sort of... Um, uh, interest, uh, sort of an interrogation of the difficulties of expressing yourself, uh, regardless of uh, the angle in which you're approaching. Excuse me, uh, the romantic um, angle. I thought the piece had a really great sort of uh, youthful, obviously dynamic that um, helped that uh, conceit and gave it a sort of a uh, very endearing quality. That I thought uh, worked well, especially because of the short amount of time. So I thought it was a uh, well acted in the short um, period of time as well, and I just had a good sort of sensibility about it. That I thought um, had the message uh, work out in a way that um, was uh, it worked the way it was supposed to be without feeling you know corny. This one really combated the the nastiness and the sometimes traumatizing high school experiences. Um, and I just thought it was so brilliant to see a character putting themselves out there with such vulnerability um, and to have that full roller coaster of emotions, but then swing to uh, a place of positivity and care and support. Um, and I, I just thought it brought us full circle in a really sweet and gentle tender way i thought the acting was great i believe the chemistry between the two characters and uh i i was just so happy to to see it end like this i think navigating um lgbt relationships can be difficult and this shows just you know part of that where you can be attracted to someone they can like you but they're just not a they don't like you in that way and it has nothing to do with you. It just has to do with their own sexual orientation um, and, and your gender identity. And I think that's, that's portrayed in a really beautiful way here where, where, you know, that romantic relationship isn't there, but you establish this, this friendly relationship and then they go on to make a sign for another, uh, another girl. Um, I think it's really beautiful. I think, um, I th I think, you know, it's about, you know, putting yourself out there, but it's also about rejection and how you take that and how you spin that and how, how you can navigate these different kinds of relationships. Um, and it was just done really, really well. Shows that love takes courage, a little courage, a good wing person and the right person um, to make it all work out. Immediately, I love that this story isn't tragic in any way and that all the characters inside the film, all the main characters, all our like protagonists and supporting cast are um, very uplifting and supportive. And I really appreciated that this short creates um, new depictions of what the world could look like by showing um, how it wants the world to look like. And for me, this was just a very feel-good short. This was a film dealing with rejection. And what I loved about it is that it doesn't demonize either characters, uh, especially in the sense that it also tackles the issue of when you're interested in someone of the same sex. Uh, I feel like while there's still a lot of work to be done, we're making progress to a place where um, who the type of gender you're interested in can one day not be an issue. Um, and in that, I feel this, uh, this short does a really good job of exemplifying something that you always do have to keep in mind. Sometimes you are going to be attracted to someone 
who might not be interested in you in that way. Not in the sense that they're not interested in you, but in the sense that they're not interested in that gender. Just because someone's not attracted to you in that way doesn't mean that they think any less of you. I, re I really like that message. I really like that it was able to take a stand in saying it's okay to love who you love. And even if they're not attracted to that gender, that's okay. They have that right. They have that choice. Um, and ironically enough, it feels like a lot of films, especially when it comes to romance, it's very much getting that person is kind of that golden medal at the end of the movie and seeing that, no, um, it's not always going to work out, but that doesn't mean that you can't be friends with a person. That doesn't mean that um, there aren't other avenues in building relationships. It doesn't always have to be romantic. And I really love that the 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 girl she wanted to ask out found her in the bathroom and talked to her privately in there. I thought that was a really cool uh, scene. Really nice of that girl to take the time to do that. Otherwise, it could have made the other girl feel really bad for a long time because high school does that to you. Um, and I love that she had a nice, you know, outcome with asking the next girl <laughs> to be her date. I thought that was really cute and a good ending 